The inside of this tray is coated with what's called flocking. Flocking is a material that's been ground very, very, very fine. I've got some here. Look at those tiny, tiny, tiny particles. So here's what's going to happen. I'm going to get an adhesive painted inside the tray. While the adhesive is still wet, I'm going to distribute the flocking over the wet adhesive, let it sit until the glue dries. Now a couple things are key here. One is that the adhesive that you get has to match the flocking that you're going to use. The reason for that is just that if for some reason you get imperfect coverage, as long as the glue is the same color as the flocking, you're never going to know. The other key is that we want to get plenty of flocking covering the glue to make sure that we do have complete coverage. A couple things need to happen here. It's recommended that you seal the surface that you're about to flock. So I've got this coated with shellac. You can use shellac, you can use lacquer. Once that's sealed, I taped off the outside corners to make sure that I don't get adhesive up there. Now, I can get this brushed on, just like putting paint on. I want a good coating inside there. Now with the whole inside painted with adhesive, and I'm just going to kind of strike some of the excess off. Now, small project like this, I could probably take this spoon, just dip it into there, drop it inside there, but let me show you on a bigger scale a real easy way to do this. This tube is specifically for applying the flocking. So I'm going to put a little bit in there. Don't worry about putting in too much because you can basically reclaim it later. Then this cap goes on. Now it's kind of like a big pepper shaker sort of. There's a bunch of holes in here. So what that's going to let me do, I'm going to push all the air out. Now turn this over. That gets the flocking down there. And it shoots it right in. Make sure that I'm getting it on the sides. Make sure I'm getting it on the bottom. Good coverage everywhere. Now the directions say when you think you got enough flocking in there, put some more in. You want to make sure you've got good coverage. Now, remember I said don't worry about putting too much in here because we're going to reclaim it. I'm working on this paper so that once the glue and everything is dry, I can crease this paper together, pour this excess right back in the bag. I can open this up, pour it back in the bag. With this, I'm going to let that sit about 10 hours. Let it sit overnight. Then, after it's had a chance to cure, I'm going to lift this up, pour the excess off right back in the bag. Then it's going to leave behind that nice uniform coating like this one that's already done has got. It's a great way to get this velvet look to the interior of this project. Great way to finish the inside, have, it, have a really nice look. It's available in a lot of different colors. Like I said, just make sure you match your adhesive color to the flocking color. It's also recommended that because you want to be color specific, you get a tube for each color that you're going to apply to make sure that particles don't get stuck in here and end up mingling into another color. Imagine if you went with red and then maybe green or something and they got together inside here your finished project would look a little weird. So one tube per color, one glue per color, very easy to do. Try adding this to one of your projects. I'm sure you're going to like it.